Hello everyone and welcome to another session with me and Bowie. Today guys I want to show you a really nice trick that you can teach your dog pretty easily and that's how to speak and command. What I mean by the teach your dog how to speak, I don't mean that we need to teach them how to bark. I mean that we just need to teach them how to bark on command. That's something that dogs really really like to do, right? That's their only voice, so I think it's really great if we can give them opportunity to do something that they like to do. So yeah, it's a really nice trick to teach your dog to do. Dogs love it, people love it. Uh, and a more important thing about this is when you teach your dog how to speak on command, is we're also going to teach him how to be quiet on command. So it's sort of uh, two things in one lesson and they're both I think, really, really important because uh, we want to be able to tell our dog to be quiet if we need him to be quiet. So the way that we're going to do it is that we're just going to use something that our dogs really, really like and it's going to work for it. Today I'm just using this Vita Pet Milky Treats. Sort of milky, made with real chicken. He really likes it. And uh, it's sort of little sticks that it's really, really easy to break. And they're soft as well. Every time I'm training my dog, it's really good to use a soft treat so it doesn't take them too long to, to actually chew it and swallow it. So that's what we're gonna use. So the way that we're gonna do it, uh, it's actually really simple. We're just gonna hold that treat that your dog really, really wants in front of him. But we're just not gonna give it to him, right? We're gonna let him smell it, see it, but we're not gonna give it to him. Why we're gonna do it is because we're gonna uh, want the dog to become frustrated and at the end of the situation he will bark. So what's gonna actually happen is that your dog is really likely to just offer behaviors, right? He's gonna do all the things that you've paid him in the past for. So he's gonna sit, he's gonna stand, he's gonna lay down, he's gonna he's gonna roll, whatever he knows how to do. And he's gonna do all of them and it's gonna be like, what's happening? None, none of the things is working. And this is when they usually bark. So you're just gonna have to be a bit patient with some dogs. It's gonna take a bit longer with some dogs that really likes to bark like boy it takes a little bit uh, shorter time so this is how it's gonna look like we're gonna let our dog see the treat right it's gonna see the treat it's gonna smell it we're just not gonna do anything see he's laying down he's sitting he's like how do I get these treats there we go there was a little bit of bark so I'm gonna pay him for this one so I'm not doing anything I'm just holding it Holding it, holding it, waiting for something to happen, right? He's gonna try to do it, he's gonna try to shake, wave. Yes! So he didn't really bark, but he made the sound, so I'm gonna pay him for the effort of trying to get, so we kind of getting closer and closer to the bark. So do it again. All right, so I'm gonna tease him with the treat a little bit. Yes! Good. So, there was a little bit of bark, right? There you go. With boy, it's really easy because he loves barking. Ah, yes! Good. Right, the dog's gonna see the treats. He's gonna figure out what, to, what do I need to do in order to get it. He's gonna sit. He's gonna shake. He's gonna try to jump at it. That's all okay behaviors. The dog is just really under, trying to understand how to get it. Ah, there you go. And as soon as he makes a sound, you mark that and you feed him. And he's going to start with a little bit... Yes. There we go. He's going to start with really quiet barks. Yes. Good boy. So what's going to happen is, as soon as your dog making the effort, making a little bit of noise, you're going to... Yes. You're going to say uh, your marker, if you use a clicker, if you use good, yes, whatever. You're going to mark this behavior and going to feed him. You're going to reward him for that. So slowly the dog understands, oh, I'm making noise and I'm getting uh, treats. Slowly you're going to build it up to a bark until you're only going to pay him for a real proper bark. And after the dog is really, you can see that the dog is doing it, keep doing it, keep barking, keep barking. This is when you want to introduce the command, which is uh, going to be talk. Yes, good boy. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the treat behind my back and I'm going to give him the command, which is uh, talk. Yes, good boy, getting into it. As soon as you can see that your dog is barking every time, you can start to introduce the hand signal and the verbal command, which will be uh, talk. I wouldn't recommend to use speak because I found that speak sound too much like sit to a dog. So when you say sit, he will start barking. 
and we can see that dog is actually understand the hand signal and is barking in our command. This is when you actually know that the dog understand it. And this is when we want to start to introduce the quiet command, which will be quiet. Good. So the difference is going to be between yes, boy, quiet, yes. See, he understands that uh, this different thing means to not bark. Boy, sit. Yes, good boy. So you're paying for not barking this time. Boy, sit. Yes. Yes. You can start to see the difference between quiet and talk. Different hand signal, different commands, and the dog starts to understand it. So. I'm basically just gonna go through the step to do a little bit of recap. You're gonna bring your dog next to you, have him on a leash again, just so you can control so he's not running away from you. Uh, hold the treats that he really, really wants to work for in front of him. Don't say anything, don't move your head. Just let him cycle through all the things that he knows until you get a little bit of sound, right? A little bit of frustration, a little bit of sound. This is when you feed him. Until you build it up for a bark, and once he understands to bark, give him food, you start to to put your uh, hand signal, your, your verbal command, whatever you want to use. And as soon as you understand that on the verbal cue to, to, to bark and command, this is when you want to introduce the different command, which will be quiet. And you just do it again. He barks and command, yes, feed him. You do quiet, he's being quiet, good, feed him. The dog will start to understand the differences between talk and between quiet, which means being quiet. Do it for a few times, obviously, it's not something that you can uh, really master in one session. Uh, but do it for a few times, keep working on it. Your dogs will enjoy it for sure. Other people is going to enjoy it because it looks really cool when your dogs uh, bark and command. And that's it pretty much for today. Thanks, boy. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next session. Bye-bye. <laughs>